Hey guys, James here with another mukbang. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Today I am having Subway, so shout out to Jasper Z. I saw your meatball sandwich video a little while ago and I've just been craving it ever since. And since I was walking home from an HOA meeting and there was a Subway there and I hadn't eaten dinner yet, I thought, why not pick some up? So I ran into the same dilemma that I think he did. My sandwich feels a little soggy right now. Probably not the best uh, situation going on, but I'm sure it'll taste great. And I think it also got soggier because I got some pepperoncinis in this bag on the side, and I think some of the juices from there added to it. So let's see. This feels like, I mean, this doesn't sound appetizing, but this paper feels like my shirt after going to the gym. That's not a good thing, but here's the sandwich. I'm gonna try to tear it in half so you can see the center at least. You see that? That looks good. I don't know if I'm too uh, adventurous to actually show you a meatball, but they're in here. I'll, I'll give you that much. Um, so I got a jalapeno cheddar bread with um, olives, spinach, red onion. I think that's all I put in this, so. Mm. And provolone cheese. Slightly soggy, but it'll do. Still tastes good. So the reason I was um, near Subway was I was at an HOA meeting. So if you guys have never been in an HOA, um, I feel like there's only one type of HOA and it's the kinds where all of the homeowners are pretty upset and they bring up issues and you talk in circles and it's long-winded and solutions don't happen. I mean, that's pretty much the experience I've had thus far. I'm not sure about you guys. But going to these um, definitely makes me feel like I'm an adult now. Not that I haven't been the last 10 plus years, but bringing up issues like safety, um, the budget, amenities, it's all interesting. So even if you think it's a waste of time, sometimes it's just enjoyable to go and hear what other um, homeowners are experiencing in your neighborhood and it's a good way to meet your neighbors too I guess it's probably not the most um, warm environment but you at least have something to bond over right bottom left corner that's the meatball Build some here. Probably all you see is that paper, but I um, hope to bring out more decorations besides this pumpkin next time. So we'll see. I've been pretty good about making videos lately, so I'm pretty happy about that. So my question of the day for this video is what do you like to get at Subway? Let me know in the comments. I almost got there. They have like a six dollar sub of the day but it just didn't sound enticing. It was a what was it? It was an oven roasted chicken but that just didn't sound that great.
I used to hate Subway. Um, I don't know what it was about it. And then I forgot when, I think when Biggest Loser came out, it all of a sudden became very popular because it's been around forever. And I don't think it got much traction until like health and fitness became a trend apparently in America. So um, I, re I avoided it. I, I don't really like eating sandwiches all that much. I guess I have to pick and choose, but I usually don't eat sandwiches for dinner. So like if you go to a restaurant and there's a sandwich menu there and then you have a choice between burgers, pasta, steak, I'm always gonna pick the others like hands down before I'll pick a sandwich, but Good when you're on a budget. Back itches. <laughs> I feel like I don't fully um, utilize the customization that you get when you go to Subway. The most I've ever done was a while back I had seen, I think it was on The Biggest Loser, one of the contestants um, got a Subway sandwich but they asked the person to like take all of the inside part of the bread. And then when you think about it, you just end up with the crust and a hollow piece of bread. You don't really notice it, but I mean, I walked to Subway, so that should have already taken care of the calories I would have saved, I guess, if I had taken it out, so. Do they even do $5 foot long anymore? Because when I went, it said $6 foot long, and that doesn't go with the jingle that I remember. They're gonna have to update that jingle because the $5 foot long song is the one that sticks with me, and so people are gonna be upset if they go there and there's no option for that. A while back, I went with a coworker um, I wonder if she would even know I'm talking about her right now, but uh, it was an old coworker, and we were in the middle of nowhere, so there was nothing really to eat besides all of those like fast food places. So there's like Subway, Panda Express, In and Out, McDonald's, whatever. We ended up at Subway, and before we even got into line, she is like, "Don't judge me," and I was like, "For what?" It's like, "Well, don't judge me on how I order my sandwich," and I was like, "Well, it can't be that bad." She ordered her sandwich and I was just, not so much shocked, but just amazed at the level of detail, excuse me, um, of her order. So certain things had to be in a certain way. So essentially it's like every other person's like turkey avocado sandwich that you would order, but she had it layered specifically. So the condiment, it was like a, a complex like equation where the meat can't touch the veg. I don't know. It, it made sense to her and her reasoning, and I totally would buy it, is that it makes the sandwich taste differently. I'm all up for it, because that's the whole, the whole um, appeal to Subway is that you get to customize it, so why not? I guess I wouldn't, really be a big fan if I was standing behind that person, but we can all be more patient, I feel like, in this world. So I think a meatball magically fell out of the sandwich because they wanted you to see it before I take a bite. feel bad, they gave me way more pepperoncinis than I wanted. <sighs> Probably would have been okay with just half, but yeah, it's fine.
So today, I got complimented not once, but twice on how old I look. I won't go into the story of the first one because I can't really tell that story right now, but um, I got like four or five years under my actual age guess and I feel pretty good about that. I have a running joke with a small group of friends about how we're old now and things don't work the way they used to. Things don't um, definitely metabolize like they used to, I can tell you that much. But it's part of life. You could either complain about getting older or just enjoy. So my sister texted me today. I have a group text with my brother and sister. And she was making uh, Zuppa Toscana. If you guys don't know what that is offhand, it's that soup that um, is at Olive Garden. So it's the one with the sausage and the kale. And I just find it so bizarre that growing up this entire time that was kale in there and I had no clue. Growing up, and I'm sure you guys can relate, kale only had its place at the buffet as decoration, never as something to eat. And I still meet people that are very against the fact that people are eating kale. But um, when she texted me that picture, I just suddenly started craving it and it reminded me that there is a simple recipe to do it and I don't make it nearly a, enough as I should but it's probably a good thing because there is a buttload of cream in that thing but with um, you know fall here and winter on the horizon it is just one of those nice soups to just have on hand and just need a bowl of soup and some bread and you're good to go you guys big fan of chain restaurants because I just recently went to one and it reminded me of why I'm not a huge fan of chain restaurants. We um, recently went to Chili's and your service was just excruciatingly, like excruciatingly slow. You have to do that thing where it's like, like just to get someone's attention and even that doesn't work and you end up having to resort to the, the hand waving thing and at a certain point you just kind of lose your patience and then the food doesn't taste like it should because you're just upset by all of these other um, things that could be controlled. and. Couldn't tell if the restaurant was even that crowded that night, but yeah, it wasn't a good experience. My meal was decent though, but if I can avoid it, I'll go anywhere else, but those, and when I say chain, it's not like all chains, it's, mo it's mainly like Chili's. I haven't had really good experiences at BJ's lately. So if you guys don't have BJ's in your area, that's like a pizza and brewery type place. Um, I love Yard House, but the service has been horrible. I remember one time, it was kind of bad because it was for it was for my birthday actually, and we were waiting in line to get seated, and um, they gave us one of those buzzer things. And we were standing right in front of the restaurant, right in front of where the, the hostess was standing. And we just, we just hadn't, hadn't got called. And people that came before us with, you know, comparable party sizes, and I didn't have a huge party at the time. There was like six or seven of us were getting in before us. And at a certain point, we're like, okay, this is weird. Let's ask. So we ask, and turns out they gave us a buzzer that was defected and it didn't work. But to make the situation worse, there was no acknowledgement of 
hey, you know, we, we, are, we apologize, we're gonna get you right in. It was more like, well, tough luck, you had a broken buzzer and so be it. And I think the attitude, the way that that approach happened, angered some people in um, the party that I was with. I tried to keep my cool, but it kind of was hard to recover from that point forward. I think they ended up, they may have sent me a gift card because I wrote like a, an honest Yelp review. I, I don't want to say bad because I don't want to be perceived as someone that just goes on there to write bad things, but I just wrote an honest review and I think they tried to make it right, but I don't remember. Well, I'm just about done here. I actually didn't think I would have that much to say, but apparently I had a lot of um, bottled up conversations I wanted to share with you guys. So again, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, um, comment below. I love reading your guys' comments and answering your questions. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, I'm gonna challenge you to introduce someone else to my ch channel and I will definitely welcome them. I appreciate all of you guys and hope that you have a great rest of your day. I almost feel like I need to hit up Vegas or a casino soon.